Hello again, everybody. Welcome back. Right, so a lot of people have been messaging me saying and commenting that mouse toggle for Fire TV is not working on the third gen Fire Sticks and the 4K Fire Stick. I have just got the 4K Fire Stick and I have had a play with it. I've had a play with Stick. <laughs> and I have got it working. So that being said, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, the bell icon next to it will give you a notification every time I upload a new video, a new video. <laughs> Let's crack on. Right then, so just before I start showing you the Mouse on the Fire TV APK, I, would, I just want to tell you I would definitely recommend the remote wireless keyboard. I will put the pictures up now of it and where you can get it from, and also in the video description down below, you can find the links in there to buy it. You can get it from Amazon and things like that, but I'm just going to share the links where I got it from personally as well. And when you're using it with Fire Stick, you're going to need the cable as well. So do make sure you buy both things. It's not expensive, but I've got nothing installed. I've just factory resetted the 4K Fire Stick. And you can see, no apps installed. Oh, I need to go on an app. Two seconds, let me turn it on. <laughs> I did install BBC iPlayer, and this was because I didn't have no volume, uh, volume, volume, it's been a long day today, no volume coming through my TV, but what it were is the capture device I'm using to record it, it doesn't allow you to get volume through, so that's why I installed this to test it, and as you can see, it's that easy, look, there's, not, there's only BBC iPlayer installed on it, and that's it, you just literally brush that pad, and then it's there, so... If you are looking to use the mouse toggle function a lot, I would definitely requ um, request... Request? What's that? <laughs> I would definitely recommend you do look up these. But for those of you who haven't got the funds, and it is understandable, some people, they've already paid for the 4K Fire Stick, you don't want to pay extra. So I'm going to show you how you can install it and how you get it working. Right. So first of all, I'm at home. This is my home. So I'm going to go across to settings and do stay tuned through the tutorial because there are steps you may miss and then you're going to message or comment saying it's not working. Do stay tuned. This is a factory resetted 4K Fire Stick. So if it starts working on this, guaranteed it's going to work for you. Right. So obviously I'm going to have to go to my Fire TV, developer options, make sure you turn on your apps from unknown sources and ADB debugging, I'm going to turn that on as well. Right, so once you've got them, you're going to go all the way back home. Top left-hand corner, you'll see the search icon. You're going to type in downloader. Or you can type in down whatever you want. <laughs> and then you're going to hit that, and then you're going to install this. What I will say about the 4K Fire Stick, it's noticeably different in the speeds of when you're trying to do stuff. Even installing such as downloader, then it's done, finished. Right, so once you've got that, I'm going to go back to the home. And I always go into my applications by going to Settings, Applications, Manage Installed Applications, and they've got Downloader. So we'll hit that, Launch Application. As I say, I've got to do this because it is, I've just factory resetted it just to prove to you guys that it does work. So on the left-hand side, you're going to see Settings. Enable the JavaScript and hit Yes. And once you've done this, you're going to go back home, and then you're going to hit this URL. So get.filelinked.com. Right, so once you've entered that, you're going to go down and hit go. This is going to be an automatic download, so it's not going to take you to no web pages. You're going to go down and across to install in the bottom right hand corner. And we'll just give that a few moments to install. And it's done already. I've not even had to skip any video. Sound. <laughs> you're going to hit done. And this is important as well, because you will find storage on your device start to shrink. You want to delete and delete again. This will save storage on your device. There was someone that messaged the other day saying, I've got one gig of storage left, and that was because he wasn't deleting the downloads from his device. So do be aware, it will clog that up. So once you've got file linked, we're going to launch it. You get a few moments just to load up. Application initialization. Where's, is that Texas, that? I'm not sure, Miss Sen. <laughs> Hit dismiss. And you're going to see it comes up with a little ad underneath. If you go into the top right -hand corner, you'll see the settings icon, so the gear. Hit that, hit the slider and apply, gets rid of it. I don't like looking at it weird there. If it keeps coming up with that message, it hit dismiss. And where it says your code, you're going to hit five, six, double zero, one, 
treble three. Once you've done that, you're going to hit next and then continue. So then you're just going to wait for it to load up. For those new here, the, all these APKs, they're free to download. Have a go with any you want. And then they are in alphabetical order as well. So what we want to do is we want to go down to M. So mouse toggle for Fire TV. And you're going to see two versions. Right, so the newer version, the 1.11, this is purely for the first gen and second gen Fire Sticks. This is very important. This will not work on 3rd gen or the 4K Fire Stick, so do be aware of that. So you see it says mouse toggle for Fire TV 1.06, so this is the older version of the APK. You're going to hit the download arrow, wait for it to go up, hit the play symbol when it goes up, and then hit install. If It is very fast that, it really is very quick. So once we've got that, obviously we're going to want to install an APK, what's most popular to use it in, which is Showbox, really. So we'll install Showbox as well. But there's not that there's not too many APKs where you do require the mouse toggle function. So, but this is a lot of people do like to use Showbox. So we'll hit the play icon, hit install, get a few moments just to install itself. And that's it again, done. That, that is rapid, that, that's right fast. Hit done. So we'll go back, hit yes, top right hand corner, recycle bin, delete the files again, hit yes. Very important if you're installing a lot of things. Right. So you're going to go on mouse toggle for Fire TV and launch the application. And it will work inside this if you double click the play button. Where it says allow USB debugging, Click always allow and OK. Right, so I'm double, double click the play button, there's nothing. Look, and obviously double clicking the play button is what activates it, right? And there's nothing there, you can see I've tried loads of times, it's not happening. So turn off the top two options. Get a few moments. Press on where it says ADB settings. You see it flashing. And then turn the top two sliders back on. And obviously this is the 1.06 version. Double click the play button. And there you go. It, it works. And this is on the 4K Fire Stick look. I'm not lying. But I have, I have tried it three or four times to see if I do come across any problems. And I haven't. The only time when I was pressing it a lot. Like I was trying to press it fast and it weren't doing it. What I was having to do, let me just get off it. I, w I long pressed the play button, so I held it a long time, and then I double clicked it, and then I had joy with it. So then we'll go back out of here, and I'll show you how to how it functions, because that was another question. Showbox launch application. Just get a few moments to load up. So double click the play button, and that'll activate the mouse. There you go. See, I had to do that a couple of times myself then. It's not forced to work on the first time you press it. Don't know why. It's annoying. I don't like using it. And that's why I got one of them bad boys, just to get rid of all that. So, we'll click on that. We'll go on to movies. Right, a couple of different functions. So, the fast forward button, the forward arrow, that'll scroll down the page. Right. The three line button, so the button with the three lines on, That'll scroll back up the page. And then obviously to turn off. So if you want to search, this is a good one to show you. If you want to go and search. Oh, it looks like the update's done it. You just have to click on search and then you'll be left with the mouse like that. So long click the play button and let go. And then you can move about like that. So, but yeah, obviously we need that to do that. I forgot to mention this in settings. Display and sounds, display, and then video resolution. You can see my resolution is set to auto, up to 4K Ultra. And on the Fire TV, they were having to change this to 1080p 50Hz instead of 1080p 60Hz. That's another thing. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> That's another thing you may come across, that you have to change it to 1080p 50Hz. But on the 4K Fire Stick, you can see my setting is set as auto. But as you can see, mouse toggle for Fire TV is working on 3rd gen and 4K Fire Stick. As I say, I've done it on 4K Fire Stick. 
and it is working great. But like I say, do make sure you follow those tips as I've shown you. Because if you don't, you're going to come across problems. If you come across problems, I get a lot of messages. Obviously, there are people that do come across different problems to other people. But as you can see, we can help everybody. Let's just listen to the video. <laughs> but I know it's been a bit of a long-winded tutorial. <coughs> that was a bit harsh, that. Sorry. It has been a bit of a long-winded tutorial, but it has been a very, very popular question, and a lot of people have been having problems. So I thought, do this video, make sure I cover every base I can, just so if people join this video, they can find out how to get something working, because there are a lot of videos out there, and they don't show you very well. I'm not saying I won't buy anyone like, don't get offended. <laughs> but yeah, guys... I hope this video helps you. If it hasn't helped you, do comment down below and let me know what you're having problems with. I will be sure to get back in touch with you and help you best I can. But as I can say, I can't say any better than it is working as you've seen me do. And like I say, make sure you head over to the description down below and check out those. Or you can look for them personally on such as Amazon or something like that. But do remember you're going to need the cable as well to connect it to a fire stick. So, yeah, guys, don't forget, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon next to it. This will give you a notification every time I upload a new video. Hit that like button and share the video about. I want everybody to know how to do it the simple way, not complicating looking through 20 videos. I've had to put six videos up myself for this because there's that many changes and people coming up with that many different problems. That's it. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to go now because I'm, I'm talking too much and my video's getting too long it's going to take too long to render i'm getting hungry and i just want to go i'll see you soon guys ta -da.